I've just come back from what feels like the longest day of my whole life. It's Friday night and I have absolutely no plans, which honestly is music to my ears right now because like I said, today's just been, it's been an early start. I've literally been on my feet all day and I need some self-care and self-love and I need a chilled night. So I'm gonna do my ideal self-care routine tonight. I also don't have Wi-Fi up here yet. The man's coming to fit it on Monday. That was very sexist of me, it could be a woman. Someone's coming to fit my Wi-Fi on Monday. So I can't watch TV, my signal's not really great. So I'm gonna have to find ways to entertain myself tonight. I'm thinking maybe I cook dinner, I'm gonna have a bath. I actually stopped off at Lush on my way home. So I'm gonna have a really gorgeous Lush bath. Yeah, cook some dinner, maybe read a book. I don't know, but I just know that me and you are gonna spend the night together in the new apartment and it's gonna be a self-care night. It's currently nearly half six, which means the sun probably will be setting soon. And to be honest, I kinda just wanna block the world out. So I'm gonna close my blinds now. Very good. Before I start getting cozy, I'm just gonna clean up my apartment a little bit. Not that it needs cleaning, but I'm just gonna put things away just so I've got a really nice space. I also wanted to show you, so I think I've already done an apartment tour on YouTube, but I don't think I've shown you, hello. I don't think I've shown you this unit. So I did have my old like storage unit here and my dad came and built these for me the other day. So I've actually got somewhere to put my clothes now and the dressing room is less messy. So there's a little apartment update for you. This is where I've put my unit. So I need some cute little decorations to put inside of it, but I'm so happy with how it's looking. It really is coming together very slowly but surely, but I'm enjoying the process at the minute. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna give everywhere a little clean. I'll also show you what I got from Lush. Um, I'll show you now actually. Lush for me is so nostalgic. Like me and my best friend Nicole, when we was growing up, we used to watch so many Lush hauls and we used to always spend our pocket money on Lush products. So I picked up a couple of things. There was all of the Halloween and Christmas stuff in today. So I think I got one Halloween thing and then the other things I don't think are. I got this shower gel called Yognog. I think this might be a Christmas one as well, but I only got it because it's like shimmery. So I thought before a night out, this will be perfect because it'll look really good on your body. To be fair, this smells insane. It's like caramelly and sweet. You'll basically smell like a dessert. So yeah, I picked that up. I also got one of their bath bombs. I think this is. This is called butter bear and the way the woman was explaining it sounded incredible i mean i just wanted this because i think that's the cutest thing ever and i think even the name like butter bear that's so cute but it's actually got little bits of cocoa butter in so it's really soft on the skin and then i also got the pumpkin crumble bubble bath i think i want to use this one tonight because i really want a bubbly bath i don't think this one will give you like a bubbly bath whereas this one will so um, she said I don't need to use the whole thing, but I'm probably gonna use the whole thing. I want it extra bubbly. I've got this little pumpkin, which I thought was really cute. And again, this smells insane. And I think it's got, I mean, you can't really read that, but it's got loads of like moisturizing benefits. So I thought, I'm gonna treat myself. Although these three products came to 27 pounds. I don't remember it being that expensive when I used to buy it when I was like 13. I only have a bath if I'm doing like a self-care night. Usually I just prefer a shower. But I kind of, I'm really just in the mood for a bath. I'm gonna have a bath, I'm gonna do some skincare, maybe put a face mask on. And I actually really love this bathroom for it. Like it's so relaxing. So a little update on what the shelves are looking like. Cute. This is like all green in here now i've got a bath mat finally i mean this is half the bubble bar i definitely definitely didn't need the full one like i'm literally 
covered in bubbles. I feel like the reason why I never used to enjoy baths is because I find it really hard to relax. I'm one of them people that is always on their feet and always doing a million things all at once and I actually, I really wish I knew how to chill the fuck out. So I'm gonna try and switch off for like half an hour. I'm gonna put some music on my phone and I mean, this bath already is so gorgeous. My skin feels so silky. That was 100% necessary. I put my pajamas on. These are actually from PLT. They're just like a black jersey set. I've also put on a face mask because what is a self-care night without a face mask? And this is the only one that I found that doesn't break me out. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Goddess Skin Clay Mask for baby skin. And it really does give you baby skin. Probably not the best for like breakouts, but for minimizing your pores, making your skin look really moisturized and healthy. And I always notice my makeup goes on a lot nicer after using that. For anything else, I'm gonna pour myself a glass of my favorite red wine. I'm such a red wine girl over any wine, but I just can't drink it on a night out because it literally will make me fall asleep at the table. If you're not a red wine lover, try this. I feel like this is a cop-out red wine because it literally tastes so sweet. But me being me, I love sweet things. So I do actually like a dry red as well. So cheers to self-care and lonesome Friday nights. Trying new skincare is always so risky, isn't it? But I've just been sent the whole collection by Estee Lauder. It's the Night Repair collection. So I'm gonna cross my fingers and toes and hope that this works and doesn't break me out. So I'm just going in with the serum. I'm gonna press that in. Okay, then I'll just go in with the eye cream. And then we have the Revitalizing Super Plus Night. She's thick. I love going to bed with a thick cream on. Oh, that feels so good. I've decided for dinner, I'm gonna do a really quick pasta dish. I actually made this for the girls when they came for girls night. And if I do say so myself, it was very good. <laughs> still trying to find where in the apartment I like to set you up and talk so you're probably gonna see like different angles over the course of the next few videos because I'm trying to figure it out but I kind of like this one with my messy kitchen in the background but anyway I've decided that I'm gonna vlog over the weekend I actually had no intentions on vlogging this weekend but I'm gonna do like a little self-care vlog because I'm actually hosting my first ever event tomorrow. So I'm hosting like a self-care Sunday and the day's gonna be so good. I'm so excited. So this whole weekend is just gonna be one big self-care weekend, which I'm not mad at. I'm gonna do my favorite form of therapy though today, which is shopping. I'm gonna go meet my mom and we're gonna do a little bit of home shopping, a bit of clothes shopping. Really quickly, this is my outfit of the day. Can you even see that? This was probably a better place. Um, this is my outfit. So I actually got these thrifted. I got them tailored, but they're still too big. So I've had to put a belt on and it looks kind of weird, but I really wanted to wear them. But these are the Zarchi cargos. This top is from Lounge. And then I'm just gonna wear my Balenciaga tote bag. I've got my Strange Loves on. And for the first time this year, actually not this year, but like the first time in a long time, I'm gonna wear my Prada bomber. I've literally been waiting for it to go cold so I can wear it again. Since the weather's so bad and since we're officially are we officially in autumn? I feel like we are. Since we're in autumn, the first place I wanted to come was Primark to get some new pyjamas. New pyjamas in winter and autumn are 
necessary. So I'm gonna come and get some new pajamas and get some cozy bits. I wanted to have a look in the homeware section as well because I always forget that Primark do actually some cute homeware, but number one on the agenda is pajamas. The girlies are clearly wild for these pajamas. These are honestly my favorite pajamas ever though. They're like 15 pounds and they come as a set. I actually got some last year, but they all ended up wobbling, but they're really good. I just don't have any of my size in. Also, is it just me or is all the Christmas stuff out so early this year? I know they usually bring it out really early, but not this early. Like it's only, it's not only just September, it's the end of September now, but everywhere is just Christmas. And I really thought I could contain myself and not buy anything. Oh my God, <laughs> kinda need that. But do you know what, who's gonna stop me? Cause clearly I'm not gonna stop myself. Maybe I do buy some Christmas decorations. I really liked this for my little unit. And like the little mice, I thought they were really cute. Today clearly just wasn't meant to be a shopping day and that's fine because I'm gonna get cozy. I've already put my tracksuit bottoms on. The perfect rainy day to start this. So Manny's actually gonna come over and we're gonna do it together and maybe order some lunch and have a really cozy afternoon. But I did get some things in Primark and I've also picked up a Zara parcel. So I'll show you what I've got. I'm suddenly so excited for a cozy Saturday. I feel like I'm actually really in the mood for it, especially because I feel so autumnal at the minute. Like I'm so ready for autumn. I was kind of gutted that summer was over, but now I'm definitely in my autumn era. I can't remember whether I said, but I've started watching the Gilmore Girls and it is the most perfect autumn program to watch like i've never watched it before and it reminds me so much of me and my mom but yeah i'm just so in the mood for autumn now anyway we've got a big zara parcel so i'm gonna show you what i got from zara i didn't really get too much in primark i literally just got i even had to put it in a sainsbury's bag because obviously the primark bags are pl not plastic paper and it ripped surprise surprise um but I got some socks. I got some mesh black like tight socks. And then I also got this. So I didn't get any of the pajamas that I shown you because there was none in an extra small. So I got this one. I thought this was really cute. It's like a little romper. Um, but I just thought it was really autumnal with like the little flowers on it. So I picked that up, which I will be wearing later on. And then from Zara, this is actually the first time I'm seeing it, so we can unbox it together. Already this is looking very promising. Should I set you there? Let me close this. <laughs> you do something stupid. So I wanna put you back up there because I feel like that's better, but I got this bandeau dress. This was, $29.99 but I really liked the back of it so it's got these it's kind of backless and then got these little clasps I've got this mini skirt which I thought was really cute mm. they brought these back out I've not had one of these since around Easter actually that's why I had one last oh, week wow. but they brought these back out and they're the best things ever do you like that I got these pants I feel like you'll like these I like that a lot. These are just like a wide leg black pant, but then they've got these cargo pockets on. Cause I, I'm kind of sick of wearing jeans during the day, but I don't want to wear cargos. And I know these are like cargo pants, but I feel like they're like a balance of a smart pant and a casual pant. So I really like these. They look basic from the front, party at the back. Oh, I feel like you'll like this bag actually, Manny. Oh, this looks different in person. I was thinking I really need a laptop bag because these days I'm a That's cafe cool. girly and I just needed a bag that I can put my laptop in and then go and work somewhere. So I saw this and I thought this was quite nice but it looks a lot different on the website. It does come with a long strap as well but it'll fit my laptop in nicely and then it's obviously got the little compartments but... I don't think that's going to fit your laptop, I just realised. I reckon it, it might will. be actually. It's cool though. I do like it actually. I mean, if it doesn't fit my laptop, then I'll probably send it back because then there's no point. I got these joggers. They're just like a basic plain grey jogger. And then they've got these zips on the side. They kind of look like the pants I had on today. 
Um, and then you can actually like zip these up as well because they are very flared when they're open. But yeah, I just wanted some really cozy pants to wear. Oh my gosh, you'll literally love these. I am obsessed. Actually, I don't know whether you will or not, but I'm obsessed with these shoes. They're kind of giving Grinch, but I love them. How cute. I'm literally obsessed with them. So yeah, that was my little Zara haul. And actually, I'm really happy with everything. The only thing I'm not sure on is this bag. And I think out of the things that I've got, just to not be sure on the bag, I feel like I've done quite well. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I do not usually see this time of the morning. I only see this early on in the morning if I'm going to the airport. Otherwise, I'm in bed. I've literally watched the sunrise this morning. But I'm hosting my first ever self-care Sunday today, so I'm actually so excited. Like, I might sound it in my voice because I've not been up very long, but I'm literally so excited. This is very unlike me, but I didn't even snooze my alarm. Like, my alarm went off, I pressed OK, and I was up out of bed. That is, that is unlike me. Like, I love my sleep. And I usually sleep in till nine o'clock, don't judge me. I'm hosting my first ever self-care Sunday and I'm so excited because one, I get to meet some of you guys. Two, I feel like this is just so up my street and like just so something that I want to do in future. So if you guys are interested in tickets, then I'll leave all the information down below in case you ever want to come to a future one. Because I feel like if this one goes well, then we'll probably start doing one every month maybe it's going to be a really gorgeous day so we've got two classes that we're going to do so we've got a sculpt class which is more like pilates and a yoga class we've got facials we've got goodie bags it looks to killer providing the outfits for everyone we've got bondi bottles providing lunch my voice is breaking <laughs> yeah it's going to be so good also i didn't show you yesterday my new pajamas these are just the ones i got in primark it's like a little romper and it's so comfy. This to sleep in was so perfect because I don't always like being too covered because I get too warm, but this was just perfect. And it's like so cozy and autumnal. Yeah, Primark's just the best for pajamas, isn't it? I really didn't know what to do with my hair. So I've just stuck it in a pony and I think I'm gonna do a little bow, but look at my ends. I'm so tempted to cut them off myself because I keep forgetting to get the hairdresser too, but I literally look, look at that i look like basil brush anyway i'm gonna do just a really light a really light makeup this morning sometimes i do this kind of makeup if i'm going to the gym and i want to look cute i know you're not really supposed to wear makeup to the gym but i think sometimes it's all about how you feel like whenever i'm going to the gym and i'm just not like feeling good about myself i will put makeup on and i will put a cute gym set on and honestly it just makes me feel so much better and when i feel my best i'm more confident which i definitely need confidence today because for as much as i literally can't wait to host this event i get so shy also i'm going to try the new kylie cosmetics concealer i actually got sent these the other day and i've heard so many people raving about them yeah, doing this event today is kind of out of my comfort zone. Like I said, if it goes well, then I'm definitely going to start doing more because I feel like self-care is just so important. Like this whole vlog is basically a self-care vlog. Oh my God, I also forgot to tell you. I don't know how I forgot to tell you this yesterday. My Instagram got deactivated. It's obviously some sort of misunderstanding, but... This is how I know I'm literally completely delusional because everyone that I was telling was like, oh my God, are you not so worried? Like, what are you gonna do? And I was like, oh, it's fine. Like, I'll get it back. It's just a bit annoying that I don't have my Instagram over the weekend while I'm doing my event. So I can't see people's stories and people's tags and things like that. And then I was like, am I completely delusional? Because there actually is a chance that I might not get my Instagram back, but that's just not an option in my head. Like, I feel like I'm such a positive thinker that, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm probably not even a positive thinker. I'm just completely delusional. Like, I just believe that everything is gonna work out and it always does. And I feel like maybe that's why it does work out because I almost manifest it to work out in my head. And that's why I always tell you guys, Try and think as positively as possible 
and try and like dull out any negative thoughts that you have because let me do this lip liner like I'm really trying it <laughs> sorry I was really trying to do my lip liner while talking then but yeah as I was saying try and dull out any negative thoughts that you have because my dad always used to say to me anything like your body is always going to give you the worst case scenario like your brain is always going to tell you the worst thing that could happen and 99% of the time it never happens like 99.9% .9 of the time it never happens but I think it's also your like brain's way and your body's way of trying to warn you so like thank the thought like if I ever get a negative thought or like think of a worst case scenario I almost thank myself for trying to for myself trying to warn myself if that makes any sense like thank you brain for trying to warn me of the worst case scenario but also I don't think that's gonna happen like do you know what I mean like I said the worst case scenario almost never happens always try and change your negative thoughts into positive ones and I swear you'll almost number one manifest the positive thing to happen and number two you'll just live life so much more happy and like not carefree but like I don't know you just don't want to worry about everything I know people that just worry too much man and like stress about everything and like oh everything's just that uh, where I just think I could not live like that like I just like being in my own little delusional world when things do go wrong I'm just like okay then how are we gonna deal with this I don't know that's just my mindset and the way I look at things. So when you signed up for the event, you basically got an email with some outfit selections, a smoothie selection and a lunch selection. And this is what I chose for my outfit. So I got this movement by Lux to Kill set. So it comes with the little sports bra and then the leggings. And it's in this gorgeous like sage green color, which is my favorite at the minute. And I thought it went really nice with my nails as well. I'm trying to choose some gym trainers. I think I'm gonna wear these ones from Asics because I kind of like that they've got the little green bit going through them so I think I'm gonna wear those and then I also have my mum's outfit because my mum's coming as well I needed some sort of emotional blanket and that is my mother yeah I'm gonna throw this on now I've got like 10 minutes before I need to leave I've also just put a little curl in my hair because that basil brush situation was not cute and I feel like that looks so much better I can't really see it in this light but this is the outfit that I went with although I did change the gym trainers to these Nike ones um but yeah this is how it looks it's so cute and so well fitted as well we're here guys I've literally had to come next door to get a coffee because I'm so nervous are you excited yeah Very do you know nervous. what we're doing all these young girls and then me I know they can stop it <laughs> disbelief that this is all happening like I literally I have goosebumps I'm so happy like I can't stop smiling and like seeing you all in person it's very nerve-wracking but I this is like the best feeling ever <laughs> 